Hey man, it's your boy, Ari, aka Young God, man. I'm coming to you in the Orange Dungeon this time, man. I'm still getting to you real, real rugged, and uh, like the Breakfast Club always say, we got a special guest in the building, and uh, I'm gonna let him introduce himself, man. Who do we have here, man? Man, you have a, 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 a blonde head nigga <laughs> with some big ass glasses on by the name of Orlando B -b 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 Brown, 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 Brown. And, all around. and for the people who don't know who Orlando Brown is, who is Orlando Brown? Uh, you can tell them that. <laughs> hey, well, you want me to introduce you, man? Hey, man. It's your show, nigga. <laughs> hey, man. Orlando Brown is, is a legend, man. Started off as a child actor. Uh, again, then started up doing some musician things, man. Just an all-around talented guy, man. Funny guy, as I like to call him. Cigarette-smoking guy right now, man. Uh, nice little trim mustache guy. Tattoo on the neck guy, man. Big glasses guy. Nice hat guy. Oh, Who's yeah, that, yeah. All that yeah. right there, man. But uh, how you doing today, man? I'm good, man. You know, blessed and highly favored, you know. Blessed powerfully and highly favored, man. I can't, uh, can't tell you how, um, how, how you know, it, it, it is to, to be, uh, you know, um, to be in this position, you know what I mean? I mm -hmm. worked hard to, um, obtain this, this love that I'm getting, uh, from, from all my fans and then all the supporters and then the consumers and things of that nature. But just to have, have, uh, you guys on my side as, as, um, loyal, you know, friends and, and, and I consider you guys family, all of my, all of my supporters and things. So, you know, I mean, just to know that I have, I have a, a you know, a secondary family, but uh, it's just, uh, it, it means the world to me, so uh, I just, you know, I, I just have uh, been pushing my album and getting ready for my night show, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and definitely, um, you know, taking into, you know, taking into perspective of just that, uh, you know, things have to have to basically be on God's time, not on our time. You know what I mean, like we just have to make sure that we uh, we're prepared to step into our blessing if we've already learned from bumping our heads, uh, you know, previously, um, you know, uh, or in our past, uh, you know, from, from certain situations that we were supposed to grow from. So, uh, being in that, in that situation and having my, my frontal lobe equally balanced, I just want to say thank you so much for reaching out to me and let's have a great interview. Hey, that's beautiful, man. Let's start it up. Um, I want to start back from, uh, I guess, chronological order. So I want to kind of go back and talk about when you start off as a child actor, um, I want to ask, what was your favorite movie slash show that you actually acted in? My favorite one that I actually acted in was, but that would have to be uh, Major Pain. That's crazy, because I had a question just for that. We keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Major Pain definitely set set the tone um, for my career, and and uh, it definitely um, made sure that that um, I, I did have the platform that I needed to have. In order to cross over successfully, um, and and to my teenage years, and and uh, you know uh, the Wayans are, are are exceptional, exceptional you know people, and they've accepted me as family since five years old. So, you know, just to be a part of that umbrella and and, and their legacy alone is just a blessing. And and uh, you know, moving right along from there, you know, I would have to give it to, to you know my godfather Jamie, Jamie Fox, you know, for teaching me, you know, nothing but uh you know, class, you know what I mean? But at the same time, you know, uh, he told me to give it to, you know, give it to him until they face turn blue, to the blue, the blue blood start, you know, just keep giving it to him and giving it to him and giving it to him. And so I, that's what I'm doing now. I'm applying just definitely uh, what I've learned uh, from, from these people and, and from my, my past experiences. And now I'm directing and producing and uh, I'm running my own company uh, diligently and we're doing great. I just want to say the major pain. Um, one of my favorite movies of all time, man. So the fact that you are uh, in that movie, and I'm talking to you. It's a blessing, man. Cause I watched that movie a lot. That's a great movie. You did a good job in there, man. A very nice. Oh, shot thank movie. you. I appreciate it, man. Very I appreciate movie. it. Very great movie. But um, moving on a little further in your life, when you actually got to uh, the show that a lot of people know you from, that so Raven. What I always uh, I always thought about how did you how were you able to get the uh, the job to to do the rap or do the theme song on there? How did that come about? Well, they knew I they knew I wanted to do rapping for quite a while, and music, just not even rapping, just music, you know. And um, I didn't get I didn't get a chance to sign Hollywood Records because I went there and told them that Tupac was my favorite rapper. They wanted me to say Will Smith, and I'm like, well, he's my favorite too, but nigga, I'm rolling with Pac. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying at the end of the day, um, you know that 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 didn't sit well. They they thought I would be a loose cannon like I am, 
but I'm, I'm disrespectfully respectful towards the fact that people, you know, don't open their eyes. And, and, and uh, when you ask me the same questions over and over, um, when you, you uh, bombard yourself with things that are, that are you know, kind of cloudy, but, you know, you, you come to an assumption and you point fingers, that is, the, that is the, uh, uh, the thing that's killing America with a lot of things that's going on. And, uh, you know, we have to give people more of a, of a chance, not just me, fuck me. I'm talking about those people that actually need and deserve opportunities to be heard and uh, have been working for years and diligently uh, deserve it. So, uh, you know, it's, 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 definitely, um, it's definitely a blessing, like I said, to be in the position I'm in right now on the throne as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> and not, I'm kind of going a little off track, but I am noticed that you have a shirt that say ICDC College. Are you a member of the ICDC College? Where you go? No, this is this is a shout out to Little Romeo. Okay. I see college. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, shout out to Little Romeo. You know Romeo. I'm a nut. You know I'm a nut. I just you know, but but you know, I mean, shout out to my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I rock with him and, and and I support the movement. You know what I mean? 100. percent You know what I mean? And I believe that uh. More of our our, our, uh, our young black African American males need to go ahead and do those kind of steps with the voice that they have, and okay. I commend him. And I, you know, I definitely have a few friends that go to college, so I, I, I had to go ahead and uh, sneak me a shirt from the mm. homie I had been for it. But uh, he definitely, uh, he definitely blessed me uh, diligently. So I'm great. Hey, shout out Romy Rome. Um, fast forward now to a little later in your life. Um, I think after that so Raven show, no disrespect to you, but it was obvious that you kind of lost a little popularity after that went off the air, right? But now... Nigga, did your mama lose popularity? <laughs> hey, man, she did, man. She did. She did. But then right oh, now... I, I bet she did after high school, nigga. Everybody, everybody does. Like, everybody no, does. No, but look, no, the, 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 the right way to answer that question is... No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not no, doing no, no, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm, okay, I'm okay, just okay. keeping it 1,000. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Million, okay, All okay. I'm saying after high school, bitches get a little frail. You know? That's a fact. Get stale. That's a fact, though. That's a fact. That's nope. a fact, though. Then your titties start spinning all kinds of shit. I'm not talking about your mama. I'm talking about the rest of these bitches. Anyway, all I'm saying is, uh, when it comes down to it, it's just more like, um, you know, I just know that uh, I went through a very uh, horrible death, and, and a, a few of them, um, uh, what, what, what really took me off track was um, Pimp C's death. Um, mm-hmm. Pimp C, Chad Butler, he was he was uh, definitely um he was a, he was a special person. He was you know definitely a uh, big big to me and uh, you know he, he was one of the first people to actually hear my music and and uh, that, that, that's you. Yeah, I don't know what just happened there, my fault. Uh, what were you saying? You were talking about uh, Pimp C. Are you there? Yeah, yeah, you hear me? Nah, I can't hear you. Hold on one second. Let me see. Can you hear me now? What's up with your, uh, what's up with the, the situation? Hold on, can, can you hear me? I don't know what just happened. You hear me? Yeah, 